Today we're going to talk about pricing. Pricing is a very unique situation to be able to be as long as it's delivered correctly. So I believe there are three different areas of pricing that we have to touch base on before we go forward in any type of a presentation. Just to be ready for them is the key to doing pricing correctly. The first area of pricing is this. <clears throat> if you and the customer agree on a price, as an example, You've talked to the customer on the phone and they say they're comfortable with around $600,000 that the value of their home would be. You get there, you've looked at the home, you've went through part of your uh, presentation, you've looked at the home, and now you've decided that you've seen the home and you're comfortable also with $600,000 being a comfortable price for the home. You now did to make a decision. <clears throat> do you actually do a CMA or do you not do a CMA? The answer, in my opinion, is you don't do a CMA at all. We've already done it, yes, meaning that we've completed the exercise, we know what in our minds <clears throat> and the paperwork's telling us that this is exactly what the price would be. So we would say to the customer that, you know, sounds to me like on the phone you told me that you were thinking that it was around $600,000 that the home would be worth. And I've looked at the home now, I feel that that's still comfortable, around $600,000. Are you still okay with that? You are? Okay. Well, what about if we go ahead and use the, you know, $599,888 price or something along that line? How does that sound? Fair enough? Okay, great. That's the first way that we'd set our price. If you and the customer agree on the price in advance, knowing that you first found out that price on the phone, now you've went around and decided. Second example is when the customer and you are a little bit out of whack as far as the price goes, meaning that they think that the price is a little higher than where you think it should be. Now, of course, you're going to go through the process of actually delivering the actual uh, CMA as the way we've described it in the other pricing video and we'll leave that for today so what you would do then is you would go ahead have a look at the house come back sit down at the table and you would actually jump right into the actual cma and deliver it step by step as we went through talking about obviously the expires the actives and the souls in that order um, um, now we we'll go from there to the next step which is the last step which is the dilemma technique now, what that means, the dilemma technique, is when they're way out of whack as far as the price goes, meaning they're way too high than what the real value of price would be. So, in the dilemma technique, it's actually a step-by-step -step process that we go through to try to explain to the customer that we have to decide up in advance. Should I, you know, be honest with the customer up front and tell them, you know, what they, you know, don't really want to hear, or should I actually go along with what they wanted in the first place and see where we go from there? So let me go ahead and explain the dilemma technique to you and then we'll run through it step by step and see where we go from there. So number one, we would say, so if you're okay with my company, my marketing plan and me, and assuming that we could agree on a price, you'd go ahead and list with me today. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so what I'd like to do then is I'd like to ask you, are you familiar with the actual comparison process that we go through to actually get a price on a home? You are? or not, either way, um, what we do is we do this, is we look at the uh, active prices, the sold prices, and the expired prices. Now, when we look at the expired prices, you wouldn't want to end up on that expired list, would you? No, I didn't think so. Well, one of the challenges that I've come up with today is I've looked all the way through, and I couldn't find a price that came anywhere near the price that you're thinking about, as you would want for your home. So now I am left with a dilemma, and if you're okay, you don't mind, I'd like to share my dilemma with you. I can go ahead and tell you the price up front that you uh, want to hear and with fear of letting you down later, or I can go ahead and actually tell you the correct price with fear of losing you up front right now. You know, I leave it up to you. Should I lie to you or should I level with you? That would be the pricing dilemma technique as a whole. Now, let's look at it this way. Remember, that line, should I lie to you or should I level with you, is a very impactful statement and really works. When you deliver that right, you're going to hear from the customer nine out of ten times, well, please don't lie to me, and then you'll move on from there. Now, when I look at the pricing as a whole, when we're going to deliver pricing, there's a step-by-step -step process we're going to go through, and we're going to go through that right now, and I'll just show it to you very quickly here on the screen. On the side, you're going to see that we have the two triangles. There's the uh, top triangle and the bottom triangle. This is our pricing triangle. 
Now, in the three areas at the top, there's going to be the price that talks a little bit about um, um, a wholesale price, then they're going to talk about a retail price, and then we're going to talk about the customer's price. So, up here on the top left, of course, is the wholesale price. Then there's retail, then there's your price. So, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, let me ask you this. Would you sell your house for wholesale value today? Well, wholesale value is probably 75 to 85% of a true market value of a home. And of course, most of the time they won't do that. Once in a while they will though, because they need it sold quickly. They need the money out where they'll make more money by losing that equity up front in another project. So, you gotta know that once in a while that will happen. Most of the time the answer will be no. Second is retail. Retail is an arm's length transaction between a buyer and a seller where they come together and they actually end up to pick a price that is fair and it actually sells. The third price, of course, is your price. Well, we haven't covered that yet, but we're going to get to that soon. Then we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to start to talk about the bottom triangle. What that means is, is this. As you can see today, if you give me enough time to put your home in the market and get it sold, I can get you 100% of the value on your home. Fair enough? Okay, great. So that's kind of a wrap as far as the delivering of the pricing triangle. Now, of course, at this point in time, if the price is out of whack a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and do our CMA. If our price was out of whack a lot, we would have delivered the pricing dilemma technique and we would have went from there to conclude on pricing. That's a wrap on pricing, gang. Thank you very much. Have a great day.